Welcome everyone to a casted game for Zero Space. And today spawning in the northwest corner of the map, playing in purple. We've got Liquid Fluid playing as the Legion. His opponent today in the southeast, playing in red. We've got Scarlet playing as the Protectorate Faction. Welcome everyone to Zero Space and the map Mountain Peak. Featuring the Prefect Nova coming out for Scarlet. Using the charge ability, looking to get to the central control tower. Take out those little critters. Get that valuable X Hexite. And then control the tower. Does use the stun blast ability, which lasts for three seconds. Does 50 damage. The Inquisitor's coming out, though, for Liquid Fluid. Looking to capture that control tower in the middle. We'll be neutralizing it. And getting that valuable XP. Might be going to the northeast first, though, to get the critters and get the Hexite. Bear in mind, let's take a look at the build. It's going to be a fast expansion. It is going to be a fast expansion coming out from the Protector and Scarlet. For the Legion. Just doing Legion things is going to go for expansion as well. Order, Protector Prefect Nova, looking to snipe out a couple of those uh, critters, and we'll be taking out that that tower soon enough. The east side, clearing that up, the Legion. So it's going to be one tower each, and I suspect both will look to converge in the middle one shortly after. It's going to be a double barracks opening for the Legion. Nothing too crazy out of them. Pretty standard open. Same is going to be for Scarlet. Now bear in mind the level of thralls that can be pumped out. I do wonder whether Scarlet's going to go for a, a couple of commandos and then maybe transition quickly into Bastions. We'll have to see how she deals with the thralls and the mass of them. Does manage to stun the Inquisitors. Inquisitors tries to get the cleave ability. Doesn't quite land. And well, great micro here by Scarlet. No, not expecting anything different, of course, with Prefect Nova. Inquisitors has to back away as the melee hero can't get close. Uses the charge just to narrow that gap. Getting a couple of hits in nicely. Charge comes in for the Inquisitor. Does use the cleave ability. Doesn't get a clean hit, though. Doesn't that time either. Charge coming in perfect timing for Scarlet, and that micro is absolutely phenomenal. Two thralls pushing forward, but here comes a commando in response, and we'll be capturing that central control tower. Now, what that will allow Scarlet to do is get the talents a little bit quicker than the opponent. Moving to the northeast as well. So wasting no time looking to decap that control tower in the northeast and just hamper the Legion war efforts once again. Thralls are heading forward with the Inquisitress, looking to neutralize that central control tower. Makes sense, and a third barracks coming out for the Legion. Now getting that warehouse back at home, Scarlet does have the research lab, so possibly looking to tech into some bastions if she feels comfortable, but we'll have to see how she addresses the mass of thralls that could be coming out for the, the Legion, especially with the, with the triple barracks. There's that light turret deployed on a really nice position on the top of that hill, pushing back the Inquisitress, and the Inquisitress can't make any more headway on the map. Down in the southwest, the Thralls will be decapping that control tower. And I love the use of the control towers in Zero Space, making sure that the mid-map is completely relevant at all times, forcing the players to contest it, making sure that camping is not an issue. Talents are in. We'll go over that in just a second. Inquisitors does dash in, but so do the commanders. They dash away. Cleavability did work, though. Looks to recall the weak ones. Bring them back home, looking to heal them up and make sure that every unit earns its worth. Talents wise, gets improved beam up there, Scarlet. So the beaming up, it's going to be a heavy feature of her gameplay, you feel. Taking a look at it, we'll be reducing the beam up delay by 50%, increasing the healed amount by 100%. Thrall sent purposely forward there by Liquid Fluid just to see what is heading in his position. Does use the charge ability with Inquisitress, but stun comes out for Scarlet, uses the cleave, but again, Scarlet dashes out of there in the nick of time and she's done that throughout the whole game it's fantastic to see Inquisitors moving down the southwest does spot the harvester might look to challenge that Scarlet moving to the north to the central point looking to deploy the turret and looks like the harvester will go down in the end or was it recorded it quite possibly was recorded there it was recorded in the end so Scarlet I mean come on we've got to assume Scarlet's not going to lose a harvester for free right that just won't happen the stun blast comes out for Prefect Nova takes out the light turret but take a look at the, the sharpshooters Oh, you love to see these units. I'll absolutely love to see them. And it's going to be the Moran Sharpshooters. They can deploy. And uh, they're going to be pushing the Thralls quite quite nicely. And this does allow Scarlet to maybe play a bit more greedy. Look to get some expansions on the field. If they set up and deploy in strategic locations. Commander's on the west side. Moving away because doesn't want to take the fight against the Inquisitors. Not head on anyway. In the middle. Prefect Nova looking to decap that control tower in the middle. The Sharpshooters accompanying. Might look to set up there. Scarlet getting control of the right side control tower. 
Heading towards the middle of the thralls. Does use the stun ability just to push the thralls away. Does stun one. But more of a distraction to pull those units away. Sharpshooters, they deploy behind the walls and makes it difficult for the Legion to get involved. They do back away the sharpshooters. They're kind of overrun, right? There's just too many. And not willing to take a bad fight in the southwest. The uh, protectorate commandos, they dash away knowing what's coming in the way. And the vision, it almost, it almost is, as if she knows exactly what's coming at the right time. Going northwards now. And look at a bit, a bit of pressure with a couple of commanders. Oh, body, wait, wait, is that a purposeful body blocking? It didn't seem like it. Commanders going north and maybe look to harass a bit of the economy, pulling back the thralls. I think the big, big critical issue about this is that... Oh, this is smart. That's kind of smart. I think the way she did that was purely just to drag the army away. And, well, felt like the Legion took the bait there a little bit. Used a lot of the Legion thralls. Kind of had to, right? Had to address it. Stun ability comes out again. Commander's backing away for now. There's just too many thralls. Oh, that was a good... Wait, wait, wait. Did he just snipe? No, he didn't. The Legion... Oh, he did snipe it in the end. The quiz just she jumped in. Used a cleave ability, but the commanders were in position. Did get sniped sharp. Shooters do... They do set up. And two Guardian Towers on the top of that ramp. Fluid. Looking just to protect that position. And he's got a good position, actually. I've got to say, with the two towers. That's going to be difficult. Although the sharpshooter's going to take that down. Outranging it. Oh, that's such a good, good mercenary to have in this situation. Taking out that turret for free. Thralls heading to that position. Do you have the commanders involved? Does have a couple of those important upgrades. Taking the engagement. The Thralls, though, they don't look like to be in good numbers. I think the commanders might just win that fight. Does use the... The Guardian Obelisk, but again, takes out the Obelisk in one big big hit. And that was a big fight there for Scarlet and the Protectorate, pushing the Thralls away. And, well, the Legion, they're going to go home, licking their wounds. Has to reset. Down to 34 supply. Going to engage with the Thralls. That's not a good idea. Going to be losing them anyway. Stun ability comes out on the last remaining Thrall in that forward position. And, well, a couple of them going to escape. But, again, going to lose that Harvester. Sharpshooters, they deploy. And the great thing about the Sharpshooters is if Fluid wants to engage... He's inevitably going to lose a couple of units before the, they get even, even close to the, the commandos. Prefect Nova couldn't look to protect that flux deposit, the light turret there as well. And that's a problem for the Legion. They won't be having access to that flux anytime soon if Scarlet gets her way. Does use the stun ability. Might be looking to snap the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor does manage to charge out there in time. Does have the Guardian Obelisk, but that is very far back home. That is not where the Legion would usually want to be. They're behind this, Scarlet has expanded to the third base, and so has Fluid. So both players macroing behind all of this aggression, but Fluid down to 32 supply. I think Scarlet is blocked a little bit. It's going to need to get a couple of those supply structures. Commander's moving to the west position, looking to capture that control tower once again. Talents are in, three of them for the Legion. Having access to reused equipment, pillage, and performance enhancers. Takes the engagement, but again, there's just too many of these commandos. Sharpshooters getting so much value. They pack up, they set up once again, and now it does deploy another Guardian Obelisk just to hold on more than anything. Sharpshooters, will they deploy? Backs off, Light Tower gets deployed. The ability comes out for the Inquisitress, but again, Inquisitress, will she get sniped? Charge ability comes out, stuns a couple of thralls. Inquisitress still alive and fighting. Sharpshooters need to back away though. There's a lot of thralls. Going on the east side position, a couple of those commanders does snipe out. I think, wait, 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 wait a minute. Prefect Nova got sniped in the end. In the northeast, this is a bit of a cheeky, sneaky play. Scarlet looking to deny or even assault that second base expansion. Just checking on the third. Or maybe even taking out the production buildings. Taking out the production buildings could be a problem. Does have a striker as well in the middle of the map. And, well, with the production builders going down, a nice bit of assault there. Forces the Legion back home. And again, gains that map control. Controlling three control towers. Talents will be amounting for Scarlet pretty soon. Does have elite infantry now. Infantry will be gaining 20% movement speed. Cleave Ability comes out for the Inquisitor. She will she get sniped? She just about gets away with it. Guardian Obelisk gets deployed. Inquisitor is playing with fire. Thralls on the front line. The commander is focusing on Thralls as best as possible. They do jump out of there. Thralls really being aggressive. Oh, sharpshooters on the low ground. Deploying in the best possible position. That was an absolute phenomenal fight. The Inquisitor does go down in the end. Commander's going to be jumping right on top of the Thralls. They're trying to retreat, but they can't get out of there. The sharpshooters in fantastic position. And that was exactly that. That was dirty. The sharpshooters being used to maximum effect there by Scarlet. What a great play, and well, Fluid going to be licking those wounds once again. Not for the first time in the game. After all, this is Scarlet we're dealing with. Moving westwards. Maybe look to take that barracks that's been built and 
She's constantly getting these little wins, these little edges. Might lose a striker, though. Does does lose, but again, the sharpshooters deploy. Throws out the back away, and... With the protection of those sharpshooters, it's becoming a very difficult situation for the Legion to deal with this. They, they deploy once again, and... Well, does have a couple of the Dread Snipers of his own. They are stealth as well. But again, the Rich Flux, that light control tower, protecting it. The Harvester might go down. Maybe not. It's on the last limbs, but survives for now. And Scarlet continues to mine that Rich Flux. Two Strikers, Commandos, and Sharpshooters. Working well for Scarlet. Does expand to a fourth base as well on the right side. Sharpshooters deployed, pushing back those Legion infantry. Again, constantly moving further forward. Unpacking, deploying, unpacking, deploying. Now people looking to take out the Guardian Obelisk does deploy. Sharpshooters will focus on that first. Strikers deploy. Can't get close to Thralls. The Bastions are out there for Scarlet. The Bastions, only a couple of them, but they're still there tanking so much. And Well, the Thralls, uh, they've got a problem on their hands. Not only with the Strikers, but also with the Bastions and also with the, stri the Snipers. The Sharpshooters. This is looking a big problem. And unfortunately, the Legion, their resources aren't... You know, they're not, they don't have that many options. They got thralls. They got the heroes. They got the mercenaries. Possibly could get the terror tanks, but it's an expensive thing to use. And the Inquisitor does go down once again. Prefect Nova still on the field, leading the lines and getting a light turret. And again, that map control really establishing itself. She's had three control turrets for quite some time. Sharpshooters deploy on the low ground. Commandos work up the ramp, go onto the high ground. Prefect Nova there as well and going to take out Quite a bit of those uh, infrastructure. Takes out the Guardian Tower. And then possibly looking to make work on the Garrison Tower soon. Moving towards the north instead. And this is looking a rough spot. There's a lot of those sharpshooters now, I've got to say. They're deploying. Oh, the Thralls can't get close. Does deploy a Guardian Tower, but that goes up as soon as it gets placed down. The Commander's on the west side. and This is looking dicey for the Legion. They might need a Miracle to come back onto this. That Striker's on the low ground. Can't get close there. Three of them. Four of them, in fact. At this point, those snipers, they are ruling the show. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fluid, he taps out. Scarlet with the intense micro, the crazy micro of the sharpshooters. She takes the victory on Mountain Peak. Hope you guys enjoyed this castle game. Take care and see you next time.